Hi, my name is Jenny Martin. I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab, and I'm also one of the Dr. Preppers for Prep and Data, where we'll be getting our data for this video. So we're going to be talking about unioning in Tableau Prep. Now, unioning is basically where you have two or more tables that you want to stack on top of one another. So it's bringing together two different tables into one data source going forwards, and they sort of have the same sort of column structure so they can just stack on top of each other. So let's go ahead and check out the challenge that we're using. So it's 2020 week eight. So feel free to go ahead and get this data too, so that you can have a play with it yourselves. But now let's jump into Tableau prep. So we've got over here on our left hand side in the connections, we have eight tables worth of data. So we've got eight weeks in our data set. So we're just going to be dragging on a couple of these, having a look at them and union them together. So if I drag on week one and I drag on week two. Now, the first thing that we can notice is that our field names, we have four fields, they're date, type, sales, volume, sales value. And that's exactly the same structure in week two. If I have a look at the data in both of them, then we can see that we have sort of 10 rows in week one. We have 14 rows in week two and they're sort of defined by all the different dates. Um, we have sort of two um, rows per date for, I guess, these different types of um, products that we're selling, bar or liquid soap. So that's kind of how our data is structured. We just want to be able to stack these data sets on top of each other because they're exactly the same. We just want to have a column that has all of the dates possible in it um, and no matter what the week, basically. We just want it all in one place. So in order to do our union, we don't even have to have these clean steps here. We can simply, if I zoom in, we can simply drag our week two up to our week one. And can you see how we have the union option? We have the join option. The union option is the one that we're using today. And you can see how it goes orange when it's ready to create that union step. So that's the way that I generally go about creating my unions. You can instead, if I just get rid of that, you can instead go into your menu of one of your inputs and add a union step. And you can see, okay, we've only got week one as an input now, but I can just drag week two up to add it into this union step on by hovering over the left-hand side on the add. And now you can see that we have both our week one and week two inputs there. If I'd made a mistake there, I could just delete that input out and you can see it gets rid of that connection. Those are our inputs. That's what we want to be happening. And you can see how they've lined up nicely because we've got these this green and this orange line underneath each of the fields indicating that, yeah, we've got data from both of our inputs in this field now. And we could even, you know, click on our table names just to see, you know, this is all the week one data and then this is all the week two data. So you can see how they're sitting right on top of one another. And we can continue doing this with our week three, you know, week four. We can just keep adding to this union step and you can see how the colors, we've now got four colors underneath each column um, as we get more and more data stacked on top. So that's as simple as it is. We don't have to be doing the union at the very beginning of our flow. Um, in fact, in this example, you may have seen uh, that we could do a wildcard union as well to input our data but unions can also be used later on in your flow when you if you need to do a little bit of data prep to one of your inputs to get it in the right shape to union with another uh, table but just for the demonstration purposes we decided to show you it at the start of the flow here so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe to this channel check out our previous video on scaffolding if you haven't seen it yet and coming up next we're talking about the union step again and how to deal with those mismatched fields. So thank you very much for watching.